People, my people, now I get to the long review so I can chat at you a little bit longer. You know, but I promise not to sing in this one. Sing in the last two. Go and watch them to be truly traumatised. So, I, tonight it's the long review of my very first rum. And above all, it's my very first Victorian rum. Um, it's a Navy strength from Jimmy Rum, who I had the pleasure of interviewing James Ferson, the genius behind Jimmy Rum. Um, and those reviews will begin about, uh, should be about in time with this one. So this is a Navy Strength Rum. We are going to hear the sound of happiness. So no, this Navy Strength Rum, rum not Navy Strength Gin. There is a significant difference, as James will, James will explain to you in the interview. Go and watch it. It's split up into four parts it's for your enjoyment. So the sound of happiness and that. What I'm finding unique is that um, this is not technically a rum, according to my friend James. This is white cane spirit, or just cane spirit, because according to my much more knowledgeable friend on rum, because, well, he makes it, not me, um, rum has to be aged two years in Australia to be called rum, so it has to be brownish, it has to, and um, an awful lot of the aging these days is done in bourbon barrels. So the smell of happiness for this is not at all what I expected. It's rum. So I expected a lot more of, a lot more caramel, a lot more sugar. Um, because he said, that, you know, and I sat just mere metres away from his um, still Matilda and looked at the beauty of the um, perfection that I was looking at, of the still. <clears throat> it's molasses. So you're expecting a lot more sugar. And this just doesn't have it. I'm smelling butterscotch. I shit you not. Um, and James, after the interview, he gave a whole lot of tastings and he combined this and the rum rum which is the review after this next week and i shit you not we had we were drinking creme brulee it smelled like creme brulee it tasted like creme brulee i've tried to replicate the experiment and i failed so i'm a good thing i'm a liberal arts student because i bombed as a scientist <clears throat> having said that it's 57.8 percent so this is the rum equivalent of your navy strength gym Gin. If you love a baby shrink gin, you're going to just shit yourself for this. Trust me. Okay. Um, apart from it, just set my entire face, mouth on fire. The flavour profile of this neat in a room that's easily 20 degrees. It's really surprisingly complex. You'd think, Kate's okay, there's not a lot going on in this. And I assure you that there is a shit ton happening in this. There is <clears throat> butterscotch. I can taste sugar in there. There's definitely, car there's a couple of different caramels happening. Um, there is a slight sweetness in there. <clears throat> and I am absolutely looking forward to making a shit ton of cocktails with this baby because... <clears throat> I think one of them is called the zombie, and um, well, a shot of this into it, you, yeah, you, you, you're not going to be one of the walking dead, but you, you're not going to have a lot happening between the ears. Um, you know, they should they should call this a smack upside the head, or it's just going to be absolutely lethal in these cocktails. But even now, at room temperature, it is a complete pleasure to sip. I can't wait till my budget can actually afford to go down and buy a shit ton more of James's stuff because he's got oat and all that. Um, just go and see the reviews. I'm sorry, going to see the interview and I'll catch you people and my people because I'm going to go and drink this baby because it's delicious and um, right up's going to show you how to get a hold of a fuck ton of this. Catch you people and my people. Subscribe, like, share and just keep on.